name is Jennifer Honeycutt, and I will be giving the introduction to the Article 11 Abortion and Gender Defenses speech. Abortions have been done in the United States since before the United States ever became a nation. In the 1960s, reforms to the law began to form. In the 1970s, many anti-abortion groups began to form. In the 1990s, the trimester rule was formed, stating that any woman pregnant more than 20 weeks could not have an abortion. The, law state, the Article 11 law states, any woman can have an abortion in the first 20 weeks of pregnancy as long as performed by a licensed physician in an approved hospital or clinic. Women, women should have counseling before they have an abortion to prevent post-abortion depression. They should have counseling before and after along with ultrasounds and education before deciding to have an abortion and making this drastic decision. People who choose to have an abortion are not getting the proper education before making this drastic decision. Archie is now going to inform you on the law and process. is are women receiving uh, due process of law, meaning the right for education, before they have an abortion. Uh, by not offering women counseling or any form of education, we could be denied them their human rights, the right to education. Also, there's a law called the natural law, uh, which is the philosophy used in jurisdictions in the determination of just, fair, and process of legal proceedings. According to Richardson uh, Freeman of 2006, the medical law aspect states that informed consent is a concept that individuals have the accurate and accurate right to receive relevant and accurate and unbiased information prior to receiving medical care. So they can uh, make good sound decisions regarding treatment. The uh, Crisis Pregnancy Center offers education to patients on the subject of abortion. They came, they discovered that overwhelmingly majority of the centers, 20 out of 23, provide false and misleading information on the physical and mental health risks of abortion to pregnant women. Uh, due to this lack of education, women who have an abortion are at a higher risk of depression and any physical, mental, and emotional stress or disorder that comes from their abortion. Uh, Ms. Jennifer will continue. The Archive of General Psychiatry and the best indicator for women's mental health after an abortion is her mental health before the abortion. Richardson found that professional counseling was offered in 11 states both before and after the abortion to help reduce uh, depression and to help women make sure they were making the right decision in, in making the decision for an abortion. It is doctors, lawmakers, and politicians obligation to uphold the integrity of information being given to individuals on abortion to make sure that it's unbiased and as accurate as possible. The availability of abortion information depends on how one feels both politically and religiously. And Emily's going to talk to us more about ultrasound. Now, the reason why we would like to have ultrasound put into counseling is the fact that it has been found by many people been found by many people that uh, a lot of patients will ask what the sex of the baby is, is it a girl or a boy, how big is it, etc. And there have been doctors and nurses and anybody else in clinics that have spoken up and stated that a lot of them refuse to let the women know what the sex of their child is or how big it is or how far along it is or etc. And it is Be able to know every single thing, and uh, we will 
believe that she has the right to, there's been a bill that has been put through but never actually got through that states that women deserve the right to see and know every single piece of information that concerns her abortion. I warn this is graphic. Now there are eight ways to have an abortion and there's also pictures up here of children that have been aborted throughout different weeks and stuff. should have be educated on having 